Hey, it's Kay. Hope you're feeling cute today. She may be pretty, she may be smart, she may be funny, she's changed your broken heart. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of my pictures with Y2K magazine or like aesthetic edits, if you may call it. So for today's video, I'm just going to show you how I make aesthetic Y2K or magazine edits with the following applications. So it's also free for mobile if you want some effects and additional filter for your photos. These are the three applications that I suggest and highly recommend. Before I get started, for my inspiration photos, I get most of my inspiration from Pinterest. So if you search aesthetic edits on Pinterest, you can see a lot of um, examples there. And yeah, if you need a lot of inspiration for your editing or your photo shoots, I suggest you look up on Pinterest. So for our first concept, we have this magazine-like edit. The first thing that I did on PixArt is open a blank canvas. I selected the first brush and then set the hardness to 0% and the size to 126. You can select any color that you want for the background but for this one I just want it to be like terracotta or like orange-ish color. I just repeatedly drew a circle with the soft brush using different shades of that color until I created a gradient-like circle as you can see on the screen right now. After that, I imported the three photos that I would like to put on my collage. And then I erased the background using the erase tool on PixArt as well. I positioned the photos and then polished some of the edges just so it would look neat. And then I added a soft shadow for the photo with the same shade of our circle. And then I just did the same to the rest of the photos. The next thing that I did was add the text. I just wanted to make it look like a catalog of what I was wearing. And then I just added some random page numbers. I added this overlay to make it look like it has a magazine printed texture. Lastly, I clicked effects and added the film 3 filter and then adjusted the blur, noise, and fade according to my liking. So this is the final result. I just love the color combination. Next concept is the journal collage. I just opened a blank canvas on PixArt and then imported the photos that I wanted on my collage. Again, you can use the erase tool to erase the background of your pictures. Don't worry, the edges don't have to be perfect and you can also leave an outline just so it would look like it was cut out from a magazine. Since this is a journal collage, we can use some stickers from PixArt. You can just search up scrapbook or scrap and then there will be a few stickers that you can use and you can just pick whatever works for you. I added a similar picture that we already have on our collage, but this time, it's black and white. And then I added a few more photos from past photo shoots that I've done before. For this concept, I think it's good that we have a combination of colored and black and white photos, just so we have some kind of contrast. And I think the stickers from the background add some personality as well. I added some more stickers from PixArt, but I really tried hard not to make it look more cluttered than it already is. And then to make it look more like a journal, I added some red colored doodles or drawings with a chalk brush.
And just like the previous concept, I also added the magazine texture overlay. And also added more noise effect to our black and white photos. Last but not the least, to make it more dramatic, I added this filter, Agfa Optima 200, on RNI Films, and then I made some adjustments as well to fit the photo better. So this is the final result. I think this is really something I would do if I had a journal. The third concept is Funky Colorful. I opened a blank canvas on PixArt and then imported the three photos that I would like to add to my collage. Just like the previous concept, I erased the background of my pictures. And then polished some of its edges. And then I added this retro zebra print that I found on Pinterest and then moved it backwards just so it won't overlap my pictures. So the edges of your pictures don't have to be perfect. You can also add outline just so it would look like it was a cutout from pictures or an album or a magazine. And my most favorite part of this collage is probably when I added these colorful hard shadows. I picked a different color for the shadows of each photo just so it would look more colorful. I positioned the photos and then cropped it just to polish the edges. Last but not the least, I used the Agfa Optima 200 warm filter on RNI Films. One of my favorite things about RNI films is that you can add random dust effects just so it will look like an old printed photo. So this is the final result. I just really love how colorful this is. It's perfect for summer. The last concept that I have for you guys is an old poster edit. For this edit, I used the print number 2 effect on prequel. You have an option to turn the title on or off. You can also change the caption and the position of your text. For the filter and texture, I set it to 100% because I really like the effect that it gives to my photo. You also have an option to remove the frame or fold effect, but I think these two effects really made my photo look like an old poster and it's really cool. To make the photo more saturated, I added the Indie Kid filter, also on prequel. The size of this photo is 9 by 16 because I used it as an Instagram story to promote my new YouTube video. But you can also resize it to 4 by 5 to fit your Instagram feed. So this is the final result. This is probably one of my favorite edits ever. For me, it just looks so perfect, so vintage, and I really love it. Just for reference, I have this picture that I edited a few months ago. And I also did the same thing that I did for my previous edit. I just changed the caption to flawless because I used it to promote our flawless sweatshirt. And by the way, please follow us on Instagram because we're coming back real soon. And this is the final result. I'm not sure if I love it or if I love it. <laughs> Hey, so if you reached the end of the video, first of all, I would like to apologize if, if I sound sabog. How, would, how do you say sabog in English? I would like to apologize if I sounded... Sorry, I'm trying so hard to make you guys understand what I'm saying. Sabog in English is <laughs> Sabog in English is blessed. That's sabog, not sabog. Dom. Sabao. 
sabaw. That's the right term. I'm so sabaw right now because in English, it says that when a person is sabaw, that person has stayed up late and is suffering from sleep deprivation. Yes. If you reached the end of the video, I would like to thank you guys for almost 4,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Thank you for those who enjoyed. <laughs> thank you for those who enjoyed my creative home photo shoots and all of the videos that I put up on my channel. I hope you guys stick around for more videos like that so there thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to hit like subscribe and hit the notification bell and comment down below what kind of videos you want to see from me and yeah thank you